Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Wednesday, which, top of being just whatever Wednesday is, generally just Valheim Day, honestly. I cannot get enough of this fucking game. <laughs> Ugh. Like, on, on a different play session, on like, a different file with different character, me and some friends are, like, in the Mistlands now, which is, like, the furthest area that's been fully developed, and it is nuts, and I can't wait till we get that. Good morning, 3Gs. Thank you, dear friend, for being here. Just started, actually. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Um... Yeah, I was just I was just gushing about this game because <laughs> I have a, an unhealthy amount of uh, appreciation and um, desire to play it at all times. Um, yeah, we're gonna be continuing. We're actually gonna fight a boss today, like one of the progression bosses. We gotta go. We gotta sail our boat out to see them. <laughs> so that's gonna be um, a time. But before we do that, I'm still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps pay bail for LGBTQ folks that are in jail. Because LGBTQ folks are treated really poorly in the prison system, so this helps them get out. If you'd like to donate to that, I have a donation button below the stream. I have an exclamation point donate command. My chatbot shares that command every 30 minutes, and I have a QR code on the bottom left of the screen when the stream comes up that you can scan to go to the donation page as well. I don't get any kickback or bonus points or fucking trap airplane miles or any bullshit from that. It just it helps me fundraise while I play games and act like a fool. Any support is greatly appreciated, even if you can't donate. I understand that money doesn't exactly grow on fucking trees. <laughs> Let's get the game rolling now. <clears throat> I'm not very good at doing the the advertising thing like that in the first place, let alone, um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I'd be able to do a sponsored fucking thing, like, you know, people do, like, sponsorships for, like, fucking Raid Shadow Legends or whatever, it's like, I'm, I want to be able to do that for something I don't actually use, because I'm autistic, and <laughs> because I'm autistic and I just can't, like, fake shit like that, I don't know. I just, I can't really just, like, fake interest in something I just am not interested in. It's really, really hard. And it makes having a job really, uh, let's see, it's, which one is it? I think it's this one. I want to say it's probably that one. It's not that one, it's probably this one, and it's a strim. Yeah, I've got too many characters. Too many goddamn characters. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I think we made some iron armor and um, made, most most importantly, a long ship last stream. First thing we're going to do when we ch get in here is check the croups. Oh, yeah. We made some iron armor. Not much, but at least a little bit. Yeah, let's, let's check the croups. Okay, stuff's still growing, that's fine. Let's check our uh, food stocks, because... Not sure if we had any more turnips. I think we probably end up using all the turnips that we had, admittedly. For it comes to it, I think we can make like deer stew or something out of the carrots we have to kind of make up for um, us not having any more turnips to use currently. Because we're in that state. But when those turnips get grown, we will, but those are going to take a minute. Uh, let's see. That, that blank portal connects down to our... our... I was originally going to build like a bridge over there and build a new base like over 
like yonder like over here but i think we're gonna sail over to this place and see what we find on the way there and depending on what we find there we'll determine on if we make a base here or if we do it somewhere else right that means we're probably gonna have to tame more boars somewhere although if it really comes to it, i'd probably just keep these here or if it really really comes to it i could get the harpoon and then get a boar <laughs> on a boat and then carry it over there that way but we'll figure it out what you need to also figure out though is trader we got sterlings and then this portal goes down there we're probably gonna end up taking this portal with us i want to see what we have supply wise for um Okay, we don't have we don't have enough uh, fine wood to make more uh, portals. I, w I would need another thirty one, which I do want to, um, you know, have access to and use. So, we are going to go find some more. No oh, wait, I don't need to find more because I grew all these. I grew all these freaking. Um, yeah, I also made this sweet iron buckler. <clears throat> Gives us uh, seventy five. Uh, seventy five parry force. Just pretty decent, I think. Oh, I don't know if it's much better than the bronze block buck, bl block blocker block bl buckler. <laughs> Fucking Christ. That I could have had previously. It's probably not parry wise, but block wise, it's probably better. I was sitting here worried about fine wood, but I literally have um, these birch trees that I planted. What the hell? Why is that so easy to cut? I'm not expecting to get really that many more, uh... Back. What? I'm trying to cut trees. You're not... Oh, wait, my technically they are kind of a tree. You're not the right kind of tree. Go away. Little goober. Jeepers. Oh yeah, we don't have our rusted bonus because we just signed in. And whenever you sign out and sign in, your buffs get removed. I'm not a huge fan of that, but... Eh. Kind of have to deal with it. It's kind of part of the game. Oh hey, that's, te that's technically just... Uh, can you fucking stop? Little monster. <laughs> It's like, look at me, I want to destroy everything you know and love. Great. Okay, I think those are still all growing, so we can't do nothing with them, more with them yet. That is technically all the, um... All of the fine wood that I need to kind of make this situation I want to work, well, work. kind of dump some other stuff off. Where did I have this? Yeah, I just saw a, a mess. <laughs> Another good reason to build a new base and maybe closer to our bone masses is there's probably more dungeons there where I can get more iron and I can use that iron to make better chests <laughs> at the new base so we can hold even more stuff. Um, but enough of that. How are you doing this morning, 3Gs? I, I just kind of started rattling off on my own 
bullshit that I forgot to actually ask. Which is not super great. I probably should have asked that sooner. <laughs> I'm not sure if I made any ever. Probably not. I probably didn't make any. Um, can we actually make the uh, medium? Um, we probably could get away with it. Let's see if I have all the stuff. I do have the raspberries. Blood bags. Oh, we do have, we have like some. <laughs> a very, very, very small sum amount of um, turnips left. I mean, that'd be enough for another turnip stew, but we're just kinda gonna. And if it let me craft two things of this, I might as well get two going, because medium healing pots are pretty nice. And I'll just kind of happen while I'm doing other stuff. Okie dokie, put those away, put that away, put the raspberries away. <clears throat> All right, we are going to make another portal right here. When we build a new base, we'll probably have a dedicated portal room of some kind, because right now this is kind of messy, and this one's gonna be Bone Mass, because that's the name of the third boss. And then we have, well, I'll put all this stuff away. Otherwise, we need 10 of you still. This stuff will let us make another portal when we get to the new place. And frankly, we're on a long ship, so we should be fast enough to kind of... Well, I guess it depends on where the wind's blowing right now. It's in the opposite fucking direction, because of course it is. Um, let's... We, we might not start sailing anyway, but we might try to um, be a little um, sneaky with it and... Um, Keep near the shores of somewhere, just so we can make some progress, and then we'll just like portal back. Yeah, like this portal's here, and we got our we got our long ship here. We were yeah, we we're originally gonna make like a really big bridge <laughs> crossing over here, which would be really sick. But then I was like, yes, it's not. I mean, this has got a port and all, but like still like in the very um middle of the map which is not super ideal it'd probably be more ideal if we could find a, like a nice like area of meadows near a, the swamp where the bone mass is maybe near a plains because that's eventually going to be important uh, but yeah we're just kind of right now in the like spawn spawn is here and our base isn't that far away which is fine but i kind of want to make a new base Cause this one's a little scuffed. <laughs> I mean, a lot of what I do and everything's a little scuffed, but you know. Oh, excuse me, game. I didn't, I didn't know you were you're gonna be like that. That's fine. We can go get ten wood. If it let me if it let me sleep, I might just sleep. Cause the wind kind of sucks. It's kind of like moving on towards the night. So sleeping might <clears throat> resolve both of those problems, or maybe it won't. Oh, oh. 
Okay. Looks like the wind's probably blowing a little better. Those are still fermenting. Let's look, let's look at our um, our turnips here. Yeah, it'll probably t it'll probably be after we kind of get to the bone mass and kind of get settled in that it'll um, be ready. So let's grab another bit of wood and maybe a campfire, uh, some stone for a campfire, and then we will. <clears throat> I think he needs like just five. No. That's a bad gray dwarf. <laughs> Something about this game makes my model act really funky. don't know what it is I don't I don't know if I've noticed to do that with anything else <laughs> more Valheim hello Osga thanks for stopping in appreciate that I'm trying to figure out maybe why my model goes all weird with when I'm playing Valheim I don't know if it does it with anything else but it sure it sure does it with Valheim. Uh, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna get on our happy little boat here that we um, made last time. If I could find the right um, <laughs> the where the rudder is. It's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze here to get out of this area. I might be able to make this turn. It's going to be tricky. Yeah, I'm probably not making this turn. Um, we're going to probably have to get out and actually like push the boat. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a... Now, if we push it that way a little bit, we should be able to... Can I get out? But now we're all wet. Ooh, woo. Let's do some platforming magic there. Let's try this again. Well, we gotta push the boat yet again, but I think we're closer to getting out of this shitty fucking area that I put the boat in. I was very optimistic that we'd be able to like, just kinda get, excuse you. To, I was very optimistic about us being able to escape this, like, bay area. Come on. Oh, we're almost, we're so close. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to place the boat like I did, but I should have parked it kind of like along the edge instead of where I did, because uh, it's just poor play. On the plus side, though, <laughs> all these graylings. Uh, looks like the wind's blowing almost exactly where I need it to m take me to, so once we do get going, we'll be on our way pretty nicely. Let's see if we can kind of get... Like, it's... Val I, I guess! <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes my, my, um, my, my, my PNG unpredictable and a little creepier, which honestly kind of works anyway, but I, I would prefer if it did what it normally does. It's like, now I'm like a stop-motion VTuber or something. Uh, rocks. <laughs> I'm hitting every single rock in existence. Mm. 
Mm. Nasty little lizard. Uh, I think the boat killed <laughs> the boat killed the lizard. Perfect. B O T E exactly. All right, so we're gonna be wiggling through probably this little area here. Like how that fish had to kind of decide, it's like, hmm, do I want to be in the water or in the air? It's like, okay, fine, and then it lands in the water. <laughs> I found dirt on a grayling. <laughs> yeah, the damn graylings are just swimming out trying to just attack the boat. Thankfully, they're not very strong, and the, this boat's pretty strong. Oh, the wind fucking changed. This is gonna be painful. The wind's blowing in the opposite direction of where I need to go, basically. So we're gonna be doing a lot of, uh, just manual sailing. <laughs> I mean, I, if I can get a little bit of, it, of wind, we can kind of scoot along. It's not like the end of the world, but it's just... Cause a little, I think a little bit of wind is easily more more speed than just the manual sailing. But <laughs> yeah, this does really the the sailing system in this game does really make remind me of the Wind Waker, which is a good thing because I love the Wind Waker. Marvelous game. I mean, you probably don't need to hear me say that, but, like, it's... Wind Waker's a, a good game. Cut tragically short with dev time and stuff, because there was some other stuff that were going to have in it, but that just didn't have t time to finish. Alright, we're going to have to try to carefully navigate this shitty river, because I... It's like, oh, we're gonna go this way totally, and then I uh, proceeded to forget there's like a million rocks in the, in the water over here. So we're gonna. Navigate. That's a rock there. We're gonna. Kind of scrape our our butthole on that one. Yeah, no, no kidding. I didn't realize how many rocks were in this river. If I would, I would just sailed around. And we don't have any wind right now either, so I just I'm just kind of at the mercy of just going really slow through just all these rocks. It, it's it's yeah, it's kind of just like a rock garden at this point. I'm surprised we didn't take damage from that. There should be at least a little bit of wind, which would be enough to get us kind of going in the right direction. The worst ones are the ones that are like just barely poking out of the water that you almost don't see. Like this one. Yeah, I love those rocks. My favorite. We have so little wind in this sail, but it's still enough to go faster than what we would be going otherwise.
thankfully we have pl enough daylight to kind of just not have it be a problem. Because I explicitly um, made sure that um, I went to sleep and then started sailing. put some stuff in storage while we're just kind of going along with the flow. Oh boy, it's raining. And we don't have much speed, so we, we might end up finding a, uh, a, a sea serpent and having to actually deal with it, because we don't have a, a lot of speed. <clears throat> I mean, if so, it's not the end of the world, it's just kind of annoying. There's not really anything I could have done to prepare for this other than wait for there to be better wind, but can't really predict that either. Don't don't have the Phoenician sails yet. No, nah, not quite. <laughs> We're still in the Viking Age. <laughs> oh, there's one. I was wondering if we'd actually find one. Oh, I think I shut the boat. Well, we're gonna have to take a detour. We fight this sea serpent. And unfortunately, that's gonna be the other fucking direction. got enough away from it where it doesn't care anymore. Hope so. I mean, I don't see it, so it's a good sign. I've never really had to, like, shake a serpent like that. I've either killed it or, um, just, like, I don't know. Yeah, this isn't, uh, I... Deal. I'm gonna try to like angle the boat enough to where we can get some uh, wind. And then we'll just kind of make up the difference later. Just need to get m more progress. <clears throat> Oh, hey, the, 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 the rain's in. And the mathematic study of topology, huh? Is this a bot? Is this a, is this a BDSM joke? Or is this actually topology? <laughs> like the actual science? Or is, is this like, now I'm a top? That's a pretty big mountain over there. 
probably mark that one. Act actual real topology. Wow. Scientists hate them. <laughs> All right, we're going to fix our boat a little bit because it, it took a bite or two from the serpent and, well, yeah, it's... Luckily for us, we got a nice little gray dwarf entourage waiting for us on the fucking shore. I feel like this is close enough to be able to repair a boat. Alright. Well, I was trying to equip an axe, but I guess I was just bare knuckle boxing that gray dwarf. Is teaching not just doming for the brain? Yeah, point. All right, let's see if that's close enough to fix the boat. Not quite, that's okay. We can just m move the boat a little closer. We'll probably also end up going back home and resting because, I mean, the wind is awful. There's not really much we can really do about that other than wait. Gonna whip this back into a good position. Or at least a, a decent position. Alright, now we'll stop and. <clears throat> that should be plenty close enough. I mean, like, even with all that, that trauma the boat went through with the Serpent, that's still, like, not even half HP. So, like, these boats are, these longships are strong. Uh, let's go ahead and put down our little portal. Oh, yeah, put all the portal stuff in, in the boat. <gasps> oh, I actually made the jump. I wasn't expecting to actually make the jump. I thought I was gonna, like, fall into the water like a buffoon. Okay, and then we just make portal right here, and then it'll pop, poof up. Cause that is a nice tip if you're playing this game, and you you're at the point where you can have portals. Is have one portal at your base that just doesn't have a tag at all. Cause what that will do is when you have a uh, when you if you're in an emergency and you need to put a portal down so you can like escape somewhere, you just put the portal down and it'll connect, and then you just leave. You just hit the bricks. <laughs> All right. These are still fermenting. That's fine. Let's go to sleep. If it sucks shit, hit the bricks. Yeah, no fucking kidding. Reminds me of this thing. I, reminds me of this, the, this thing that I um, shared with one of my friends yesterday, where it's like Snufkin's like 
the ways of leaving a conversation, a lot of them are just like absurd. Because <laughs> Snuffkin is fucking absurd. Um, wonder if our delicious turnips are ready. They might be. I don't know how that little critter didn't see me, but they sure didn't. Whatever, not my problem. Alright, uh, yeah, these turnips are probably done, so. Let's start picking. I don't know how I, how many I even have planted here. I just know that I uh, planted a bunch last stream. And now it's time to harvest. The wind's kind of shit right now anyway, so I... Um, I think, I think one of them is he, like, jumps off a fucking airship. <laughs> because he asks Moomin to, like, land, and Moomin, like, questions, it, and he's like, Oh, alright, and just, just fucking jumps off of the airship. It's like, god damn. <laughs> I'm sure he probably also jumps off a bridge at some point, but I don't know if that's one of the ones that is in the video that I shared with my friend. <clears> hmm. <throat> I'll probably, I might end up pasting that video in the Discord just for, just for fun. Yeah, we planted a fair few uh, turnips last time. Which is good because we were like basically out of food that uses turnips. <clears throat> Not anymore, because we're gonna have a good amount. Yeah, yeah, we got. I have a feeling we planted like 150 turnips last time, and yeah. Yeah, I, I I know I know what you're referencing with the the hit the bricks like 100%. I I, I love that fucking account, fucking just. The whole concept of that account is amazing. Okay, so we've got stuff here. We, uh, did I miss a turnip somewhere? Or did one just like die? It's po it's very possible I planted it incorrectly or a monster hit it or something, but. I'd still say that um, 150, 149 turnips is a nice amount. Um, I'm probably going to do some math on the count. Embario movie. Let's see, um... Two ten divided by three is seventy. So if we, uh, if we go ahead and, pl and get seventy of these... And turn them to seeds, that'd be enough to get two hundred and ten seeds. And then we can plant hundred and fifty of those. Basically, what I want to be, have happening is, um, oh, thanks for hydrate. What I want to have happening is, like, we plant, or have us planting 150 seeds that actually grow the turnips, but then have, like, 150, uh, like, turnips, like, have, like, 150, uh, have, like, 50 turnips being grown to make more seeds at the same time. But for that, we're gonna. It's gonna be a bit of a, a little bit of a, a bit, a bit of a long time to get there. I mean, not really that long, but it definitely would help to um, plant more turnips than we seed seeds than we need. Because normally, if you, I just I just do 150, and then I do I plant 50 turnips, which gets us 150 seeds. And I plant those 150 seeds, and then I, you plant 50 more turnips of that, which means you get a uh, profit of 100 turnips each planting cycle. Thank you for watering the bean. <laughs> One of my friends suggested that I need to have like a, a, a redeem 
thing where it's like a, a big finger just flicking me for flicking the bean because of course it, it need that you know <laughs> of course while I think that would be funny that mmm oh yeah that would be funny <laughs> I think it would be funny it seems like a lot of work Anyway, let's uh, replant. The wind's still awful, so I don't really mind just kind of lollygagging around like we're doing now. We're gonna replant these. Um, oh, I need to uh, re-gardenize this area. Yeah, I made this area a little bigger than uh, last year. I made it a little bigger than it previously was. Oh, it's raining. Of course it's raining. Kind of hard to line this stuff up correctly. To plant efficiently. Okay, 19, and we'll space it out a little bit more. Just keep mashing the freaking uh, left mouse button as I move. Over these last few, I'll just mainly put them where I want them to go. Space out a little bit more, let our stamina recover, and then... <laughs> the fuck you expect people to do most of the day yet, right? It's like... Wander around the forest punching wolves, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like the, there's there's no Twitter or or Reddit or whatever to fucking keep yourself busy with. What do you fuck? What are you supposed to do? Play hoop and stick or some shit? <laughs> I mean, probably, but yeah. Well, the wind still sucks, but maybe it won't be raining at least when we get back so we can just kind of inch our way closer to where bone mass is. Before that, though, we're going to make some more food because we got that uh, harvest of, tor of tornips. So... We have two more blood bags left, so that's we can only use that to make a few more of these black soups, but... That no, should be enough to, for, to tide us over until we get to, um, yeah, it should be enough to tide us over until we get to the, um, the new swamp where we can probably find plenty of leeches to get us more, uh, we're gonna just make, like, a bunch of these turnip stews, though, because they're nice. They're, co they're costly in turnips, but you can just grow turnips, so it's not a big deal. Although, once we get onions, we'll probably end up uh, switching over to onion soup. It's a little better, and it still takes three onions, but it doesn't take boar meat, at least. The new swamp! Yep, because the bone mass boss live, well, it always spawns in a swamp, and it's usually a pretty decent sized one, since it's far farther away from spawn, so... Kind of like the, uh, it's just like kind of a cumulatively just good idea to kind of, we kind of have to go there anyway to fight the boss. Which I mean, you technically don't need to, but, I mean, yeah. Alright, so the wind is still awful, so we're probably just going to have to to suffer through it and hopefully not find too many more serpents. Uh, yeah, it's arrows up there. I'm just trying to sort my inventory out. Maybe by an hour in, we'll actually get to the where we're trying to go. Maybe. <laughs> made, made a few more foods. 
Are these done yet? They are. These are nice to have. gonna do in some inventory shuffling for when we fight go to fight this boss Man, I don't really need that spot taken up because we're gonna be using this one potion when we actually fight the boss but we're gonna have to prepare an arena for them not too extensively prepare but like we have we have to do some we have to like kind of flatten the area so that when we're running around fighting the boss we don't like fall into a, a swampy hole and get just beaten to death or something like that. You know, just standard prep stuff. Let's eat up some foods. Use the power of... And get a rusted bonus. Biking? Okay. Be safe. Yeah, we're just gonna have to deal with boat being slow. Because the wind is not wanting to cooperate. <laughs> but Yeah, what are you gonna what can you really do? I'm actually gonna Google maybe why our V802 tube is not working. Okay, that didn't... I might have found a, a Reddit thread about the same thing I'm having.
Hmm. Okay, I see. I might try that real quick just to see if that solves our problem. Because, yeah, like, right now it's fine, but whenever I hit continue, it'll, um, stop. So, let me, uh... Ooh. It's storming here a little bit, so my power might go out. It did overnight, I think. <laughs> so, give me a sec. We're gonna try to do some wizardry here with, um... So my, my, my wondrous face may disappear briefly. Okay, let's see. Let me find... the V802 program. It's, I would imagine it's on my desktop somewhere. Maybe. Um, well, that's not fucking helpful. Windows. Where the hell did I put that thing? Maybe I should search in actual explorer instead of the the dog shit like search bar. Hmm. I mean, it's probably on my uh, store my my D drive or my like storage drive real quick. Let's see. Um, I just want to figure this out because it only really happens with Valheim. So let me see if I can just find a... Just to be sure, I'm gonna unpin video tube from my task, but my taskbar down at the bottom, just because that's how I launch it usually. All right, so I found where it was. Let's uh, open OBS back up and let's uh, actually let me look. I just noticed that Valheim is this black bar there. Um, what are you, what's your not that? Uh, what is your uh, tr the transform edit? Is it just position weird? Let me just find out. Not sure why it, I didn't have that correct, but it's corrected now. All right. We're all scuffed here. It's fine. Uh, now let's open. God damn, it's cold out. Is it? Is it still like the snowing times where you're living? Cause I know some places like Utah are still like fucking snowy. All right, let's let's see if this works. Cause I told I told Vado Tube to run as a um, as administrator. Now it's acting funky, like it's not actually displaying 
the thing. Come on, it's fine. Hi, Pookie. What's he doing? Cold and Wimdy. Apparently, my cat was uh, sitting in my roommate's bathtub, so I'm giving him some attention. I don't know if he was scared of like the thunder or something. He is. A, he is just a little guy. All right, off you go, little man. For some reason, my uh, PNG tuber thing is not work like showing up now, like at all. Like in OBS, like it's not like picking it up, even though I have it set to the window. Maybe it needs to not be a uh, game capture now or something. I don't know. I guess we're I guess we're gonna play with that now. It's, there's all it's always something. Yeah, it's not, that's not going to work properly either, because it, it probably needs to be a game capture, so just card and delete, delete, no, delete. <laughs> You're seeing how the sausage is made, we can't have that. Um, I guess we're going to make a new uh, game capture. See if maybe just it needs to make an, a new one. All right, maybe it just doesn't work in, in administrator mode. Isn't there someone you forgot to ask me about Valheim Valheim's like, hmm. Okay, we're gonna try, um, just, we're just suffering right now. <laughs> Hello, Cloudy. We're, we're, we're fighting, we're fighting OBS. I'm sure you're probably familiar with that. Yeah, it's mostly that my um, my my bean is not animating properly, so I'm going down a rabbit hole trying to figure out why, and it's just a mess. So we're trying just different various so uh, methods to get this to fucking work. <clears throat> Otherwise, we're just trying to sail somewhere. Up, oh, not not that one. 
that one. Alright. And now, um... <laughs> it's just like... I think it has to be, um... There we go. Alright. So far, so good. And then I think there's, um... filters thing that we have to do. I just gotta figure out where that is. <laughs> I almost feel bad for the priest who had to actually ask for God's consent for people. Oh God. I think it's color key. So now we get to figure out what settings work best. I'm a ghost! Woo! <laughs> Jeez, that's scary. I don't know what's going on really here. I guess you should probably pick a color that doesn't exist. This is complex. Oh, God. Things beyond my comprehension are happening. <laughs> me too, bitch. Me too. Um... Oh, wait. I might have figured it out. Maybe. We're just massive. We're big. Bigger than before. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me go to my other thing and we'll, um, I want to mostly just see the size of everything because I want to match it up. I shouldn't have watered the bean! <laughs> um. It'd be a living space. Uh, I'm trying to get it roughly around the size of the other one. Yeah, up. Yeah. Up. Up. Well, that's probably good enough. Uh, let's. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. That, yep, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it there. And hopefully it actually works with, um, Valheim. Like I um oh no it's probably not gonna spill still probably wait does it have to be open the window still have to be open let me let's try let's try it this way okay all right I think we well let's <laughs> let's see if this works okay oh no it's also not working well you know whatever right yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can undo what I did, basically. I, I basically set a Vado tube to run as an administrator. There's a random rock out there, which means we're probably close to some sort of land. Mostly just, Valheim said no. 
Kind of, kind of did, honestly. Yeah, I'll, have to, I'll have to do some more research into it probably tomorrow when I have more time. That's not taken up by streaming. But yeah, other than that, the, the, the water, the, the wind has been blowing the exact wrong way almost the entire time I've been trying to sail. We ran into a sea serpent I had to run away from. Yep, um, if the wind's not blowing the way you're going, you kind of don't really go very far. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's rocks, there's, uh, <laughs> oh, the, w the wind is turning in our favor, kind of, it's, it's turning in our favor enough. Yeah, there's there's some rocks generate where they're just below the surface, which is enough to where you might not be able to see them. <laughs> it's a weird little bit of ocean. That's like a very small shitty island. Let's turn the boat a little bit this way. Still trying to desperately, desperately maintain at least some wind in our sails while heading towards where we're going, which is this. But yeah, the, th the thing I was doing didn't really fix the problem. <laughs> Unfortunately, because even as being running as administrator mode, it won't display normally the other way, and this way it still messes up anyway. <laughs> so I don't really. I'll have to look. I'll just have to look into it more, because otherwise I don't really know what to, I'm really doing. I don't even remember this being a problem until recently either. It's just weird. Yeah. Oh no, that's planes. We don't want to go near that. That's a. That would be a bad to go near that. <clears throat> However, Black Forest is perfectly safe, so we're probably gonna like dock here. And make our way inland. Because the Black Forest is comparatively much safer than the swamp and the, uh, the plains there. Um, goblins that hurt really bad. Big mosquitoes that hurt even more really bad. There's, like, these tar slimes. There's these big-ass, like, monster buffalo things, like... Like, the planes are not, I mean, they're not unfun, but they're definitely uh, more difficult than most of the other biomes. The only biome that I say would be probably worse would be the Mistlands, <laughs> which is the newest one. So we're going to just kind of dock right here. That's, we're going to leave a little marker here for a boat. Let's fix our boat. Didn't really take much damage, but that's fine. 
right, and then we'll put this down. And then go home. Uh, it's like the plane's normally in real life. Yeah, it's just full of goblins and mosquitoes and buffalo. Like, real, just really mean buffalo. Basically, yeah. <clears throat> it's just like me for real. Well, we kind of made it where we're trying to go. In real life, I'm goblins. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, let me go and just... I'm going to undo the stuff I just did. Because uh, um, when the game's paused, yeah, it, it works great. But, like, otherwise, it's just not working. And that, this one doesn't display properly now that I have it changed to um, administrator, run as administrator. But I know where that is, where it is. on my PC now. It's like in a folder, in a folder for my old desktop. <laughs> like, well, let me just close Vado 2. Well, I'm going to change the background color to transparent again and close it. And then we're going to go to that go to properties go to, to compatibility no run as administrator because i didn't fucking do anything all right uh, let's remove it from our pin just to make sure it's the correct one move that over and relaunch it <clears throat> administrator mode um, one that I've been using for the last like million years uh, might go to properties and see if I can like set the priority higher or some shit let me see I could always go try to do in task manager and make the priority higher that way. Um, let me see. We're, we're trying to do some weird stuff. I don't know. I was trying to find some way to like make it higher priority or something like that, but this newer v version version of Windows, like I'm, I'm on 11, makes it a little harder to do in the older versions of Windows, like I remember doing. Yeah, so I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it, unfortunately. <clears throat> I'll do more re research as to why it's doing what it's doing. The reasons that the reasons I saw make sense compared to like what's happening but it's just like I gotta figure out how to work around it you know <laughs> cause it's kinda I mean it's jerky and kind of awkward which is perfect for the bean but you know We're gonna very carefully, like, just not be near this fucking, uh, plains biome anymore. Cause... 
it's like a little bit of black forest right next to the swamp. <clears throat> Which is fine, but I think it then like opens up to the plains like over there. Yeah, it's like right fucking there, and I don't I don't want to deal with that. Just all the critters are just fighting each other. And I'll just kind of let them rough house. I don't really care. Got a Draugr. Oh, I, I did not block at the right time. Jesus Christ. Everyone's fighting. Yeah, clubs do very well against the um, the squishy um, dudes. Let's make sure we're picking up these entrails because completely missed. I'm very good. I'm very good archery. Very good. <laughs> Quickly head back to um, the boat and drop off some stuff because I just want to be able to carry some things. That gives us two inventory spots to carry random stuff that I might need to carry. Like, one of them is probably going to be blood bags, because I need more of those for food. Just trying very carefully to stay away from that plains, because uh, the swamp is biome 3 and the plains is biome 5. <laughs> and the uh, numbers scale accordingly, so you don't end up having a very good time. If you kind of stumble into the plains without realizing you're stumbling into the plains. Most of the time what happens with people that do that is they get hit by the mos a mosquito and die instantly. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things. Where are you going? Come here. Ah, uh, we got a spawner here. Should probably take care of that sooner rather than later. Chiefly the 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 boat the body pile here. Cause yeah, the the oh god, you're a big one, aren't you? Can I even parry you? Well, I probably could if I actually parried correctly, but whoo! That's a big one. Yeah, the, the the tide the tide the tides can turn very quickly if you're not uh, if you're not careful or if you're um, stupid. Ooh, I didn't want to get hit by that. Oh, I have a feeling I'm just making things worse for myself by running in circles. I'm mostly just trying to go back to my my boat area, so if I do die, at least I'm close to my stuff. Yeah, 
Yeah, this big guy is a problem. Like a big problem. Oh great, there's a tree now too! Oh god. It just goes from bad to worse, and now I'm stuck. I'm probably gonna die. There's like 10,000 things shooting at me. Get. If I can get on top of this, I might be able to survive. Because they can't really jump, per se. And I might be able to, like, at least shoot some of these assholes. Some of them. Oh, great. Some of them did get up here. Alright, we're going to have to make a run for it. Again, thankfully I did survive long enough to kind of get my health potion stuff back. Oh, ow, yeah, those guys hurt. Norm they, they they normally hurt pretty bad, but especially when they have stars on them. Can I make it up? Nope. I was hoping I could make it up there. Me, me dodging that lets me at least... <sighs> yeah, I have to dodge that guy's attacks or I, I die. <laughs> like, a horrible death. Get, get, no, shit, no. <laughs> well, this is where I die. Oh, not quite. <laughs> he pushed me through a little cr crevasse. And I'm now gonna die in here. Jesus, this game is brutal. And if I could, if I could survive another like 40 seconds, I might be able to like. Oh, great! There's another spawner. If I could survive another like 40 seconds or so. Uh, don't punch him. Yeah, I, I yeah, I'm, I'm, pro I'm fucking dead. Ah! Oh, there's another one. <laughs> it's these fucking archers. They're just kind of, they're just kind of peggy, you know. God, this is agonizing. Oh. I, th I, was, I was trying to get cheek, a little cheek. Oh, God, yeah, I'm dead. Oh, he missed. I got into a, I'm in some strife, buddy. Thanks for the high trade. <laughs> Had a one-star Draugr Elite spawn right on my head. Oh, there's another Draugr Elite. Perfect. 
Just what we like to fucking see, you know? Just, just perfect. No, oh, trust me, I haven't really been able to chat either. Thankful. Uh, I was gonna say, thankfully they can't get to me, but. What I can do is try to destroy this fucking body pile, at least. <laughs> the, the great CS, yeah, I had to fucking get away from that fucking serpent. <clears throat> Was not much fun, I'll tell you that. Whew. I mean, it was kind of fun. Quickly, while he's... My problem is I don't know how many arrows I have left. 70? I mean, that's probably enough to kind of get these killed. But yeah, it can, it, the tide can turn so quickly before you even have a chance to do much about it. I'm gonna try to destroy this rot pile too. If I can aim properly, that'd be nice. I think I'm hitting it. There we go, I'm definitely hitting it now. He's... Ugh, fucking droggers. Okay, that one's dead. Damn it, I... I would have been fine if I would have just, you know, not... Ooh, this might actually let me have a better shot at them. Oh yeah, they're just standing here like fucking idiots right now. This reminds me of some, like, shit you do in RuneScape where, like, you're standing on, like, the other side of a rock and this, like, big monster is just like, Where'd you go? Why can't I kill you? <laughs> where are you going? I thought you wanted to kill me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> just, there he goes. <laughs> He's like, this shit sucks. I know there's another fucking Draugr elite somewhere, and it's a one star. I know you're here. There's a oh, we also got hit by the tree somewhere. I don't even know where the tree is. And frankly, at this point, I don't even care. We're gonna very cautiously come down here. I don't know where that Draugr. I don't know where that one star Draugr elite went. And frankly, I don't care. I just don't want to get surprised by it. That's not the kind of surprise you want to deal with. Ever. Anyway, we're heading to Bone Mass. <laughs> now, for, that was a very exciting um, death run through the fucking swamp, but... I don't want to do that ever again, you know, it's not really my... I am interested in these other, um, Sertling spots. But honestly, I'm kind of wanting to, uh, get to Bone Mass and set up a portal there and then go back. Great. Let's see if I can destroy this from a distance. Oh well, yeah, got got rid of at least one of them. I think I can even. I probably can even get rid of this other one too. 
Let's aim a little higher. I'll tell you what, if I didn't bring potions, I would have not survived that whole fucking Benny Hill chase through the fucking swamp, I'll tell you that. I would have been uh, very dead. Because there was a certain point where I was like 10 HP with like no stamina. <laughs> At least once or twice. Come on, die. There we go. Alright. Neat. I think I can handle a skeleton spawner. Yeah, I can. Definitely. Alright, there's Bone Mass's summoning thing. It's also a dungeon here with a stinky ooze or an whatever they're called an oozer that's what an oozer We're going to set up a, a bone mass portal here. At this dungeon. I don't have the key on me. But we can definitely uh, mark this dungeon for uh, clearing out. I like using these because they're kind of distinct looking. What? Fucking punk ass blob. All right, let's get out of here before I get ganked by like 10 ghosts. <laughs> it's, it's like Christmas Carol, except less rich person death and more uh, poor person death. <clears throat> See that one blood bag I got. I was hoping to get more, but I was getting chased by like 10,000 droggers, so we kind of just kind of got caught unawares. <laughs> Bright said that we did get some more entrails for more delicious sausages. Slippy, slippy time. Well, the first hour and a half of the stream has been a disaster. Hopefully, we can make the rest a little bit better. Because, <laughs> goddamn. Okay, those are fine. I might as well grab these while I'm here, otherwise they'll 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 get up to four, but then they'll stop producing honey. So I want to kind of keep that moving on. Um, excuse me, what game? Weird. Well, I will. I will keep a uh, thing there. But we are definitely going to you know I should probably break this. Otherwise, they'll just 
there'll just be a ton of droggers that don't, don't want to deal with, and some of them will be like elites, and that's just not a fun. Excuse me, how'd that one go lower? Few more arrows should do it. Not the most effective way to kill a uh, really, really game. You're gonna just do that to me. Not the most effective way to kill a um, one of those rot piles, but it's definitely the safest. Come here, stinky. I need I need more blood bags for food. Like, I'm actively, like, looking for leeches now. God, there's so many spawn. There's, like, another spawn right next to this one. I mean, it's not like the best way to kill those, but it's definitely the safest, and it can be pretty quick if you have a clear shot. If you don't, though, it can be just kind of... I try to do that in crypts, like, early on, especially, if I can just, like, make a little, little shitty hole through the little rubble bits. Yeah, this one's got a lot of these fi uh, fire plumes. What is this? Another fucking tree. Let's see if I can fight the tree now because I have this uh, iron buckler. Oh, I oh, <laughs> I got hit by the goddamn, I got hit by the goddamn falling tree too. Rude. Oh great, we have a, we have an interruption. Oh. I'm admittedly just, woo! Oh, okay, the game keeps getting clicked out. My, my mouse keeps getting clicked out of the fucking game. I don't know what's going on there. It doesn't normally happen. So that's how you fight the trees, mano a mano, but you have to have at least a, you have to have a pretty decent uh, shield to usually do it. Maybe I should just like, I don't know, parry these droggers like I'm supposed to, instead of just letting them smack me a little bit. But you know, it's fine. Admittedly, it is nice to be able to kill the trees without resorting not no, dragging them through the fire. Like I have to do early, like I do early game because you just can't really contest them. Otherwise, there's some more wood, I guess. If, I mean, I guess if you have a uh, a uh, bronze buckle, you probably can. Ancient bark, and I don't have space for it. <laughs> yeah, another dungeon here. Which I will mark very hap very happily. <clears throat> See, there's there's planes over this way. So if I could find like uh, some meadows or something somewhere, 
That'd be great. Dangin. It's a dangin. Dangin, dangin, dangin. Let's see if I can snag this uh, little rot pot body pile there. Probably. Might have to go ho might, might have to ho <laughs> might have to ho back to home. Or ho back to gome. See normally it's not a problem if I just run up and just like clobber the rot piles, but then we had everything spawn all at once. And normally that's how it's supposed to go, but that last time was in uh, extraordinary circumstance where it spawned a one star a one star Draugr Elite that um I can't really fight very well right on top of me. Not not a f not a not a fun thing to have on top of you, admittedly. Kind of hoping I can find some more uh leeches. I've not really seen that many. Too much other bullshit keeps spawning. <laughs> I promise at some point we'll fight Bone Mass, but I'm just kind of exploring this swamp to see if it's actually worth setting up near here. Oh, here's another fucking tree. Perfect. Perfect timing. I was getting bored. Block the dumpy strike. Okay, let's uh. My stamina's a little low, so let's uh, get that back a little bit. There's another one dead. Another shitty tree dead. It is literally an abomination. <laughs> just, just, they're just like me for real. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say run away, nasty little slime. Uh, I do have the stuff to make that portal again on me. I should probably do that and leave some stuff at home because, like, there's a lot of decent stuff here. And I can just come back. I'm pretty sure I have enough uh, roots now to uh, make the entire root armor set if I really wanted. We're not really super worried about that right just now, but, you know. Well, at the very least, I can make another... <laughs> I can make one additional um, black soup to make up for the one I'm about to eat. Getting like one goddamn blood bag at a time, it feels like.
Yeah, I also need to make some more, uh, some more arrows. We are on a, we are on a pretty nice number of arrows now, at least, though. Where we can make, like, four sets of fire arrows and then just have a full stack. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. I'll probably end up finding more of these. Um, probably gonna throw that away so I can store my bronze pick in case I need another pickaxe for something. Probably if I end up like digging out a bunch of area. We're also going to need 10 of these bones for the fighting the boss, so we'll go ahead and grab those out as well. Okay, those away. Okay, we cleared out a fair bit of inventory space now. Turnips are still doing fine. It feels like the spawn rate of those damn abomination things is way too high. Sometimes. Alright, just throw that away. Like I hear you somewhere, oh, monster. I need the blood bag, so I'm I'm pretty thankful to actually be seeing the leeches. Okay, what an oozer. Bonk. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Look at all these turnip seeds. Well, don't you love to see it? I don't need any more turnip seeds, of course. Ooh, you're not fun. It's like when you don't need them, they're everywhere. But when you need them, you find one and like the, and then you find like one set in the entire swamp. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're gonna try to destroy that one from afar. Oh, I actually hit it. They do exist! <laughs> they're, they're, they're pretty, uh, it's, it's very here or there. You either find them or you just, I mean, of course, you either find them or you don't, but like, they're just, they're either, you either find them when you don't need them or you don't find them when you need them. It's, there's no in between. Like, like now I've got like, Tons of turnips growing through, like, games like, oh, okay, we'll just spawn some in right here so you can look at them. They look nice. They look nice. Plenty nice. Oh, come here. Why are you standing? Why are you standing? Why are you sitting over there? Come here. Hey, if you're not going to fight, I will. <laughs> I'm mostly trying to, like, um, map out these dungeons so eventually I can come back here and just get a bunch more stuff. Probably not, like, immediately. But I might raid one of the dungeons to get some iron for some chests when we, whenever we decide where the uh, new base is going to be. So far, so good. This one's got like four or five dungeons clustered right next to each other, it feels like. Get dunked on, one star dragger. Get fucking fucked. 
I wonder if this is the same one star Drago that was chasing me through the fucking swamp. Along with that one star uh, Drago Elite that I never found that just kind of like disappeared. Like fist fight this fucking leech. <laughs> With how much damn time I've spent um, in the swamp, I'm glad I have this helmet because that would have wasted. Would have I just would have been dead a long time ago otherwise. Oh, there's a bunch of you, huh? <laughs> Greetings, vegetables. Veg veggie tables and veggie chairs. <laughs> mirror that <laughs> leeches insides all over my mace it might have just been just a random big three cluster of droggers because there's not a spawner around here oh yeah there's a tree that spawned while I was being chased through the fucking swamp we can probably kill that now it'd probably be safer to do so now wow yeah this is a really good fucking swamp there's a lot of crypts in here I think you're an archer, so let's see if we can get and get the jump on you. Yeah. If I could hit with a bow and arrow, maybe. If I could hit with a bow and arrow, maybe. Hit that time. Yeah, these archers are the fucking worst. They do a lot of damage, probably even if you have higher armor, just because they have a lot of pierce attack with their arrows. Is that another fucking dungeon? I think it is. Is that like the sixth dungeon I found in this like... Admittedly small swamp, but still really big swamp for... I mean, it's not really that small of a swamp, but like... That's a lot of dungeons in a very small area. Oh no, poison! Oh no! Anyway. <coughs> okay, that's one I just kind of came from. Let's kind of go off in this direction, see if there's any... Because they're kind of just clustered together in a big way. Shot one kill. We like that around here. Ooh, get fucking destroyed. Okay, it's getting a little a little dark. Let's uh leave. Let's just let's hit the bricks. Oh, let's maybe not do fucking Spongebob font. I might... I was gonna say I might stick around and try to kill a uh, thing, but let's uh, just... You're just gonna be annoying, so let's just leave. <laughs> like greetings fellow vegetables okay yeah that's a good amount we can 
make some more food before we head back out. So let's grab you, let's grab you. And then we need some boar meat. Gonna top off on sausages. And let's make some more black soup. I'm honestly just gonna use all my blood bags for that. And then let's make some turnip stew, try to make the, the amount to match. And we'll be eating on this for, for a while longer anyway. Until we find some onions and get those growing. So I don't really have any qualms with just making a bunch of them. Okay, and then we'll put our turnips away, put our meat away. More entrails. <laughs> Slip time. So we can check on the turnips. Oh, hey, look! Turnip seeds! We got like 70 planted here. And this is why I didn't pick those up, because we just have so many already. We don't need any more. Yeah, that got us uh, 210 seeds. And I don't know if we can actually fit all of them in this square. So we might need to uh, do some uh, temporary square adjustment. Or maybe not temporary square. We might need to temporarily pause our swamp adventure to adjust the farm to be... Damn it. I keep, like, clicking out of the frickin' game window. I feel it's because I did the, uh, the show desktop thing earlier when I was trying to mess around with stuff, and it just, the game is not happy. I did so. So let's, uh, expand this out by two more. Get, get, this get, it's starting to bother me. If it, get, if it gets bad enough, like, I almost died a few times because of it. So if it gets bad enough, I might have to, um... Like, exit the game and re-enter the game. What am I doing? I have rocks on me. really I feel like cuz that part was still lower yeah that's probably it yeah 
Yeah, we're gonna need to just uh, do some work on this area a little bit more. So let's get let's get some more stone so we can terraform our area here. Eventually, we are gonna be moving to a new base, but at least for now, I need this to be more functional so we can plant more stuff. So I can still use this to like grow crops in, even if I don't like live live here. I can just like have this as like a farm area. So I'm not really that bothered by doing the work here because we could just keep using this place to farm and then that's less area we have to use for farming at a new base. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with the ramifications of all the mess I'm making now. Oh, I used up all the stone I had. Alright, well, that's fine. Probably get a little bit back from just smashing through the, the mess I made. I know there's like a few rocks around here I could just break. Okay. I can. I know there's this little guy right here. How? How are you not on the fu fucking? Seriously? How? You're literally the same height as the other one. You... Come on. Come on. Fine. You know what? Fine. gonna just take even more this is a lot of work to get like flat terrain it just takes a lot of freaking effort and it still didn't work why how how did that not work I think the elevation I was on was just really, like, weird. I am bothered. Well, I did have a bunch of extra stone. I guess this is a play better. I guess, yeah. <laughs> just play, just play better. Fuck's sakes. It's 
like flatten the earth oh better next time lala mayo <laughs> Frankly, as long as I can get these all to, like, be on, like, this blue thing, I don't, could care less how, like, actually perfect it is. Because, <laughs> like, it's just a lot of effort to make flat, perfectly flat terrain. It said this expansion will give us a lot more room to plant stuff, like another few rows or so, I'd say, of growth. All right, these do those areas do overlap. Okay, let's continue placing. That's about as good. Okay, game, fine. Let's break this and then raise the ground so we can raise it more accurately to where it probably needs to be raised. And then we'll flatten it and then push the thing down. And that's probably a, be that's probably a better way to do it anyway. Yeah, I probably should have just did that instead of whatever the fuck else I was... Instead of what I was trying to do, which is... It's a rock! <laughs> it's a rock! Just makes me think of that SpongeBob episode where they're trying to deliver the fucking pizza and they find that, that rock and they drive it. Well, SpongeBob drives it, I think. I think we're I think we're done with that and probably this stuff too. Let's grab our little diggy diggy tool. And we're gonna make this place a uh, tilled soil or cultivated soil. You eat, eat an avocado? Nice. You having it with like any like 
crackers or toast or anything like that. Gonna be like a real millennial and have avocado toast. So it's a, you're, you're like, I'm the problem. I'm the I'm the reason the economy's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so are you an are you an avocat eating avocat? I don't I don't really know what you do for work. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a lot more uh, growing growing space. I'd probably, if, if I were doing that, I'd, I'd likely end up putting some, uh, a little bit of salt on it. Just like a little bit of salt. I would commit assault on that avocado. We're gonna, instead of the black soup for right now, we're gonna find something else to eat that's got more stamina to it. Like, probably just some honey. Because honey's, uh, 35 stem and... Well, by the time that runs out, we should be, um... Hopefully have all these planted. Oh, I need, I need my rested bonus. Cause that'll let us uh, recover, let us plant much more stuff much quicker. Eat it like an, <laughs> eat it like an apple. Just peel and all. <clears throat> After we pl after we plant this, I'm probably gonna head back to the swamp and we'll probably s start getting ready for uh, bone mass. We're gonna go kick bone mass's bone ass. <laughs> uh, I need to fix. <sighs> I always forget something. I needed I need to fix up my stuff, my metal stuff, including a little uh, cultivator fork. And then I just like left my house without doing that. I also fix my non-metal stuff. There we go. And now it's gonna be fucking dark. You know what? Whatever. I'm not getting. I'm not getting another harvest out of this stuff into my mouth. <laughs> I'm not getting another harvest out of this stream anyway. So let's just. Oh, uh, well, maybe I will. But. That seemed like a good angle to kind of be twisted at. Nineteen, Sp bit of a space. I'll plant these two. them all. The hardest part of doing this with keyboard and mouse is um, place is mouse one, so you have to be very careful not to move your mouse, or you might end up um, changing your angle and ruining your whole the whole thing. 
Because if some are planted too close together, they'll one of them will perish. Like these might be too close together. Oh, well, maybe not. But now I gotta kind of realign everything. It's just gonna. I really wish it had like a better way of planning stuff instead of just hoping and praying that you get the angle right. Cause yeah, it's not fun. I'll kind of make sure that our angle's fine on this way. I'm kind of just tracing my steps. Yeah, I think that's a little too close. We might end up losing one or two here and there. Now, now, now my angle's off again because I had to stop to check. <laughs> uh, being a farmer is hard work in this video game. <laughs> Alright, that's probably fine. No, it, it is in fact not fine. What a mess. See, if you, if you get the angle wrong like a few times, it just gets worse and then you you start just pointing them too close. I think they would be like brown if they're too close. So these are probably still just fine anyway, but I just, I just, ugh. I need to line this stuff up again. I mean, I, I think I have way more than enough space to plant everything anyway, because I'm doing like 19 plants a row and Rows don't take much space once you actually, you know, do do it right. Like if you're doing it correctly without stopping, like I was, then yeah, you can get you can really just squeeze the rows in there. Okay, then we got like 20 left, so. If any are more likely to die, it's probably these three because I kind of mainly place them pretty close to the other stuff. But you know what? That's fine. Just I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. Uh, we we're about to actually. I just had to replant the turnips. I just planted like 210 turnips in that fucking field. We also spent some time uh, readjusting and making our little garden bigger over there. Um, hi, worm. Uh, you plant, you get tur you you plant turnips, you um get the actual physical turnips, then you plant seed turnips, and every seed turnip triples your amount of seeds. So say you get like th say you get like one drop of turnip seeds from the uh, swamp. Uh, that's like three. You plant those. <clears throat> Um, basically you just, you just like plant and, yeah, you, you plant and replant until you get a trillion seeds and then you're good. Uh, basically. Alright, let's put that away. We're getting ready to go fight bone mass. Mostly. Let's eat all our foods and off we go. This portal isn't exactly at bone mass, I don't think. I was kind of exploring around the swamp. Although Bomas isn't far away, I was just kind of ro roaming around looking at, trying to mark all these dungeons, because there's quite a few in this, this is a pretty good swamp that the Bomas is in. It usually is pretty decent, but in particular this one's just pretty damn good so far. Let's 
So let's just let's start heading back towards our bone masses. <clears throat> With some more certlings. We already have a few portals set up near a few of them. There's a stompy tree around here somewhere that spawned when I was being chased by droggers. Because I uh, had an unfortunate spawning situation where like a one star drug elite spawned like right on top of where, uh, where I was. And uh, I had to just run for like 10 minutes it felt like away from all of them <laughs> and I almost died stompy tree oh rude granted I need I want more blood bags anyway hey standing in the water is a good way to attract leeches well I don't know if I'd say, I don't know if I'd necessarily a good way, but it is definitely a way. <laughs> okay, there's another there's another dungeon there. Oh, <laughs> fine. I guess we're fighting another tree. They're, these things spawn way too fucking common. Once you have a good once you have a good enough buckler, yeah, the trees are pretty easy. Once you know the timings and stuff too, just kablam, dead. Pew. I'm gonna destroy this spawner situation. Spawner's gone. There's, I think there's another one over there behind the, uh, yeah, there's another one behind the bone. Of course, behind it's behind the bone pile. Guess I better get ready to go deal with that. Neat. So that's dealt with. Any other dungeons in the area? Uh, so far, no, that's okay. Power strike those, get them dead. Alrighty. Surprise! <laughs> Dude just burns to death. Fires are so good. Bone fragments, don't care. I do want these entrails though. I could have swore I was picking them up already, but probably not. Uh, all right, I don't think I care about the skeleton trophy. I think I like the entrails more. I see a Slytherin. Ooh, I think that's one of the uh, Leviathan things. That you start like mining their barnacles and then they like go back underwater. Almost certainly. Uh, let's see if I can kind of mark that. 
turtle. I mean, I don't know if they're actually turtles, but they look like turtles. They, they kind of seem like they'd be turtles. I hear a leech. I just don't see him. Okay, there's, there's one over here. It'd be great if I could stop clicking outside of the goddamn window. I would like that. Please and thank you, game. Again, I think it's because I did the, um... I did the, the, show, the show desktop thing because I was trying to troubleshoot something. And that made Valheim weir do be weird shit. Another, another leech. All the power attacks. I was hoping to find some more uh, dungeons, or maybe a small uh, meadows biome attached to this swamp. But we might not find either at this point. I know there's another I, I know there's another leech somewhere. I'm trying to get their blood bags if I can. Hmm. There you are. Uh, there's a rot pile in here. Gross. Got him. See, see that if it, if I found this anywhere else and I didn't know where Bone Mass was, that'd be great. But Bone Mass is literally right over there. <laughs> over there. So it's just like, what's the point? Frankly, surprised they don't have like some like code to kind of check if like there's like weirdness like that that goes on because that's wasted spawning space that could have been like a maybe a dungeon or something. But yeah, it's fine. It's not really the end of the world. Just kind of explore. I want to explore the rest of this swamp if possible, and then we. Uh... Ooh, that might be another dungeon there. It looks kind of like one. Oh, there's another tree! Of course! Come here, boner. Jesus Christ. Come here! Come here, you stinky tree. You stompy bitch. Come here. Oh, I see you're stuck on a dragger. Of course you are. That's rude. Can you not do that, please? <laughs> Boner. See, that is the second tree we fought in just this session of being in the fucking swamp. But at the very least, that is definitely another swamp dungeon we'll mark. We're not going into any this time, this stream. Oh, there's a lot of draggers over here. Let's, uh... Maybe, uh, kill them. Kill them. 
Get, get motherfucking Valheim. <laughs> it, it clicked out of the window again, and I was just standing there while this thing was just kind of stumbling around. Son of a bitch. <laughs> like, actively fighting these things with a handicap. But you know what? It's fine. They probably need it. Um, that's aw an awfully confident thing to say when I was getting chased around the swamp for like 10 minutes earlier. <laughs> Yeah, they're going all repos. Just parry! Bop! Bop! It's very satisfying when you do it correctly. Like, very satisfying. Runestone, blah blah blah. Kind of giving some background lore. I hear another Draugr somewhere. There you are. Yeah, you're a, no you're a zero star. You're not going to be a problem. If the... Fucking game would stop clicking out of the mother. F ah! Yep, that is an ancient tree. But yeah, the the I get the the damn game keeps clicking out. The, the my Windows keeps clicking out of the damn game. That's gonna get me killed. Mark my words. That's gonna get me killed. Fucking blob. Hey, ah! Yeah, stop it! Fucking windows! <laughs> I hate- I hate it! Okay, you're annoying me. Both of you. Fuckers. Just gently- gently pew pew pewing me. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not dealing with you right now. <laughs> Fucking, there's like too many damn trees in this. There's too many of these damn abominations, I swear. To fuck. I'm just trying to fucking... I mean, the tree's gonna come to me anyway. All right, let's stop for a second. Thankfully, this tree is a little stupid. Are you si- Just a little stupid. I prefer when it does that because it's it can be a lot closer. Yeah, I got I need to get some stamina back, and we'll kill this tree. Then we'll leave, and then we'll come back, and then we'll fight Bone Mass. I'm tired of finding just more of these damn trees everywhere. Oh, you just kind of missed. Interesting. Interesting play. Oh, I'm, I was trying to block that, but I guess I just wasn't paying attention or something. I don't know. Need some more stamina. It's, I'm wet. I don't have my rested bonus anymore. It's just kind of annoying. My food's wearing up. Where do you go? Where do you think you're fucking going, tree? Get the fuck back here. Pain in the ass dealt with. Other pain in the asses still remain in the local area. Who do you think you are, tree? <laughs> <clears throat> the 
bees need more. I was wondering why we didn't, hadn't been getting any honey from these. Probably because this is too close to them or something. Who knows? I really don't. Look, more, more entrails. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. More, more root. That's... <laughs> other than my root mask, we've killed, um, like, seven other of those damn trees that just show up out of nowhere for no good reason. They're just... They're just kind of showing up. Okay, uh, well, it's nighttime now, so let's go to... Do you think I care about a fucking gray dwarf? Especially not that one. Punk ass gray dwarf. Which is also why I want to move bases so I won't be near these pain in the asses anymore. They're way too way too numerous and they always spawn at like the absolute worst times they'll spawn at your weakest hour and then at any other time they spawn they're literally not worth your time <laughs> all right well as much fun as that was let's go to sleep for real Ugh. Fix our junk. Fix our other junk. <laughs> then we'll mark this dungeon that I kind of set up my little portal next to. I'll mark this dungeon. I'll kind of keep looking around, although we're kind of running out of places to look around at. Here's a dungeon. They're technically crypts if you want to be super technical about it. Uh, let's kind of look around, see if I can notice any fun shapes in the distance for more crypts. Probably not. I see another uh, spawner right next to where Bone Mass's summon thing is. There's that big skull over there. So we're get, we have to clear that one out, because otherwise we'll get some uh, unwelcome surprises during the boss fight. Arrows aren't going to be super useful during the boss fight anyway, just because our mace will do much more damage to bone mass. There only being one uh, spawner for Draugr's there, it's a lot safer to go off, go just go right in there now. Oh, nice! Didn't even get a Draugr to spawn. That's ideal, honestly. We got in the chest. Ooh, chain. It's actually pretty good. We'll take this stuff. And now the real work begins. We need to, uh. So, like, kind of absolutely need to do is, uh, flatten the area around the, the fight so we can maneuver around more easily. Granted, we don't need much room. We just need to kind of be able to e easily get around the boss if you need to kind of just make some space
Okay, and just for the heck of it, we're gonna build a nice little, like, tree house up here that, uh, Bomas won't be able to really get to us in. This step is absolutely optional, but it's kind of fun. Because these trees count as uh, grounded structures, so you can build a uh, structure. You can build, you know, structures off of them. So we're gonna build a little, a little tree house. And that's touching the tree, so that gets, uh, that's touching the tree, so that gets the, uh, sta the stable ground kind of durability, which means I can get rid of that. And we can build up another bit here. And let's do that. Hopefully I don't regret this, but we're going to put this on so I can kind of see a little bit better. Because it's, you know, kind of hard to fucking see. Okay, and then we can attach a floor there. Be able to break this now. Really, really, game? You're gonna you're gonna be like this? The answer is probably yes. It's gonna make things as tedious as possible. can just kind of attach another little pole like that. there we go don't need that anymore let's uh, continue to try building this out that and that'll make it easier to snap these other floor pieces on we don't need much I just want to have this up here so that we could have like a kind of raised platform for a the return portal to this place in case we want to come back for whatever re one, one reason or the other Also move this little workbench off the ground. Okay, and then let's see bone mass. All right, so that portal's set up, and frankly, unless they break this, I can just get back up very easily. And even then, we probably don't even really need it, but. It's a way we can definitely get back here, and there are things of interest around here, like there's those two flame jets we can set up spawner, spawner stuff at for getting more coal and cores, but yeah, it's, this was just a, um, I guess we're technically sheltered by it, <laughs> this tree branch right there, not that it's gonna matter much, but, you know, cause the fucking boss is we're gonna be out fighting the boss in the open uh rain anyway 
But let's just drop off some stuff. We don't need wood with us anymore. We only really brought it there for that reason. It's nice and dry here, though. Just nice. I might keep some wood on me just in case something goes wrong and we need to build that back, that ladder again, get to get away, but I'm feeling it's probably fine. All right, enough, enough dawdling. We're about to actually fight the boss, so let's, uh... Fix our stuff. If I could upgrade my mace more, I would, but I don't have any iron left. And we frankly probably don't even really need it. Honestly. Alright. I try to patch this bit up here just because it's kind of annoying me. I find a few rocks so I really wanted to kind of get this little hole gone but it, it doesn't matter it's just kind of wasting time at this point so what we need to do now get our bones we're gonna drink this um, poison resistance mead which this will override our helmets uh, resistance because it's uh, this is resistant to poison this is very resistant so this will take precedence, but I think having both will reduce the time where you take poison damage for. So we're going to drink that, and then press 6. And we're going to fight big, big, big boy time! Make sure my mouse is actually on the goddamn window first. There he is! Beat the shit out of him while he's spawning. Blah, 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 blah. You do have to watch out for melee attacks. And it's a little hard to see. And he's gonna throw some enemies. And if you do need to heal, you can just kind of walk around the walk around the thing and heal a little bit. Which our, our, our foods are kind of going out, so we're kind of going to do that a little bit. But yeah, these are just normal blobs and skeletons he summons, so they're, they're not very dangerous. And you can, you can definitely parry the boss, too. It's basically a free damage zone. Just watch out for that. And just for the sake of making this fight faster, we're gonna just use potions, cause... Up, oh. up, oh, yep, it, the game just clicked off, like I was saying is gonna happen during this fucking boss fight. I, I knew it was gonna happen. Well, let's kind of reset a little bit while um, we all right. Let's get it. Get our get our stamina back. Honestly, more to get our stamina back than anything. We don't really need the health because our health's basically full any again anyway.
Okay, he's gonna summon some more uh, slimes and shit. Ah, that's a missed opportunity to get a bunch of damage off. But, eh, it's fine. Oh, you summoned like three of them. Good for you, buddy. Kind of just want to kill the slimes, honestly. You can just kind of... I mean, if you want to do Dark Souls stuff, you can, you can like, do roll dodges to kind of dodge his shit instead of parrying. Like so. Like so. <laughs> you can just do do a dark stoles dark stoles dark souls style and just roll up, roll away from everything frankly it's probably smarter to do more do i need to do more rolls on combat in general like as like a rule of thumb because i almost never do i usually just parry like a fool dark stoles <laughs> yeah everyone's everyone's favorite uh, jrpg dark stoles Oh. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but like my 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 Vado tube window behind Valheim flashed to the front real quick, like very briefly, and I was like, what is going on? What are you gonna do? Thought so. Yeah, you, yeah, I, I need, I need, I am, I am, un, I have underutilized uh, rolling for a very long time, and it, it, it's not smart. I'm just lazy and want to just parry everything. Iframes, bitch. Alright, yeah, that, that was very easy. Yeah, bone mass isn't really that hard, even by yourself. Now, if I could stop clicking out of the window, that'd be great. Literally happened again. All right, bird, what's up? Seems one of the many bones this living ossuary hid in his belly was a wishbone. As long as you have a good mace. Well, I, I have a, I don't have a, I have like a, a, a iron mace that was upgraded one singular time, so. You don't even really need a good mace. You could probably, you could probably kill him with a bronze mace if you really only have bronze, because that's probably not much better than this one, or much worse rather. I can't talk. <laughs> yeah, basically any. You could probably even kill it with the freaking wood club as long as it, if you upgrade that enough, you could probably even do it with that. But it'd take longer. Like bone mass is more about just. Yeah, don't don't use anything that's not. Um, a mace or a blunt weapon. Hell, if your if your fist skill is high enough, you probably could just punch him to death because it is crush <laughs> or blunt rather. Crush blunt, same difference. Anyway, with that done, I'm gonna kind of explore the rest of this uh, swamp. With the remaining stream time I have. Me and my roommate have a lunch pre-made for today. So I can spend at least a little longer. Like kind of just exploring the rest of this swamp. I've got a feeling we're not going to set up a base here. Because there's a little little nub of... Uh, just a little nub here of um, Black Forest. And then it turns to plains. Unless there's like some meadows or something down here. We're probably not going to make a base here. But maybe I should just check that out instead. I do have another portal over here, so we should probably go grab that and we can like run down here. Yeah, we'll do that. Keep this bone mass one here in case we want to make some more uh, portals at the Certling Spawners for more coal. Because that way you just don't have to make coal anymore, ever. I am going to move this portal away from there. Maybe I'll move it like... Over here, yeah, I'll move it over there. Cause our um, our bees were not happy with that. Thinking about wishbone. 
Oh, so now you need more open space? T typical. Typical bees. Not the bees! See now, these... These bees were all happy previously, but I guess maybe not now. Fucking bees. We'll move them somewhere else. Where they'll be hopefully a little happier. No? Why are you why are you unhappy? That doesn't make any sense. You'd think this one would be also unhappy. Whatever. Why are you fine? Uh, whatever, whatever game. I I don't I don't know your secrets. I don't understand why you are the way you are, but you sure are. Okay, we got some more goop and shit and goop and shit and shit and goop. More bones that we don't have space for. We got the bone mass trophy. We'll deal with that at some point. We got the wishbone. Should be for uh, probably a next stream kind of thing. We might sell our. We're gonna we're gonna look at the rest of that swamp. See if there is an attached. Uh, like meadows that we could kind of build in. Yeah, my only problem with black soup is that it lasts for 20 minutes instead of 25, so all the other foods are off cycle, and it's just kind of annoying. The taste of metal lingers in your mouth. Mmm, pennies. I love pennies. These are still happy. Yes, they are. All right. The boat. The boatel. No, oh, the boat. I, I read that as the boatel, like a boat hotel. <laughs> That's stupid. We have our little friendly little boats here. I know. I thought I put something in here. Yeah, I put some wood in here. Uh, I guess we could just take that with us. Yeah, over yonder there's uh, planes, and I'm n not ready for that, so we're gonna hit the bricks. As previously discussed, you just leave. <laughs> Where? Oh, God, there's a death mosquito. I saw it flying around. I don't know if we could parry one of those with the shield. Probably not. So hopefully it just uh, doesn't chase me and murder me. Yeah, the Skeeters are fucking terrible. I hate them with a glowing, healthy passion. I'm just hoping that we're... Oh, yeah, there's a one-star Draugr. My favorite. Oh, hey, there's the one-star Draugr Elite that I was, I was scared about uh, earlier in the stream. Oh, we can parry you, but now I don't have any stamina. Great. Yeah, I have to kill that Draugr later. I will be just dead. Like, not even kidding. Like, yeah, this is the place I came to uh, earlier in the stream and um, did not have a good time at because it spawned that Draugr Elite right on my fucking head. Oh, there's also a tree here. 
If you didn't, if you couldn't hear. Oh, hey, look, another Drug Elite. Perfect. I love that. That's my favorite. Fucking bullshit game. <laughs> Eat my ass, Drug Elite. Eat my big beanie ass. No. See, there's another fucking tree. Well, I guess I'll take that shit. Well, I guess we're fighting. I guess we're. I guess we're fighting trees today. Put this down, and we can make a portal afterwards. Get, get your big dumpy over here, tree. Alright. Well, that's like the third or fourth tree I fought this stream, I think. I kind of lost count because they spawn way too fucking often for my liking. Like, it's not even funny how often I get these damn trees showing up. When I don't want them, it's always the worst fucking time. Didn't I place a uh, bench down here? Did it destroy the fucking bench? I think it destroyed the fucking bench. Why wouldn't it? Fucking bullshit ass tree. <laughs> That's entrails. Where are the roots from this tree? I mean, we're basically done in the swamp, quote unquote, but it'd still be not okay. Never mind. I, I used that potion, so I had room for that. Uh, let's. We're gonna go back a immediately because our inventory's full, and I'm just kind of annoyed. Come on, wakey wakey. There we go. Revenge for the bench one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I I, stum I stumbled upon that um. That one star Draugr Elite earlier, and it and some other stuff just beat the shit out of me, and I had to kind of like very quickly uh, just run away, and I almost died because of that. So I'm glad we found them and was able to get revenge, because goddamn, it's tedious. Alright. Okay, put that away. And. More entrails! <laughs> Honestly, I'm about to look and see how if how high I can upgrade my helmet to right now. The helmet's uh not upgraded at all, so yeah, we could we could just use up some of these roots that I got to kind of just level it up to make it at least slightly better for now. Okay, yeah, I can't upgrade it anymore. That's fine. I, get, I used up some of the roots that the damn trees have been giving me all freaking stream, basically. And some of the ancient wood that I just kind of got in general. Alright. Let's fix our garbage, and then we'll head back and keep trying to explore. Keyboard is try because it seems like something always happens. To keep me from getting anywhere. <laughs> I'm breaking the surprise that Mosquito didn't just chase me down and try to kill me. I think it was distracted by fighting Draugrs. Better it than me. Yeah, I was just like running all over this fucking place trying to get away from the Draugrs because there was like probably at least three Draugrs including a one star Draugr and the one star Draugr Elite and then just a bunch of fucking skeletons too. It's 
so it was just not not a good time to be me. Okay. Looks like further that way is where we get more plane. Are you fucking serious? These damn things are too common! What the fuck? If I don't kill him, it's just gonna chase me around anyway, so we kinda need to fight him. Oh, I just realized I'm not wearing my dragger, my, my face mask. <laughs> Whoops, that would have been funny. To like get poisoned and die because I don't have the damn face mask on. Or I guess just miss the parry. Alright, I'm, I'm fucking around here a little bit, it looks like. Um, I think I'm just annoyed that I've fought so many of these damn trees this stream. Yeah, the trees are, are pretty big. Yeah, that's the, that's the planes over there. We do not want to pay that a visit. I'll tell you what. Oh, fuck off, slime. Oh, God. You. It's fighting a leech. I'll help you, leech. Yeah, those goblins do not fuck around. I'm glad it was, like, kind of occupied by a leech. We need to get away from that <laughs> that zone. It is unhealthy to be near be near that near them. Oh great. There's a one star dragger amongst these. Not impossible, but just kind of annoying that there's just another finding all sorts of stars. We're not even nemesis. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably not a... I mean, we could make a base over here. Because I guess this this probably is Meadows. No, that's Plains. Never mind. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. Let's get uh, away from that. Uh, so, yeah, we're not making a base near this uh, swamp, unfortunately. So, n maybe another time we'll find a nice place to make a base. Preferably near, preferably in meadows that's kind of close to, like, kind of close to a plains. Like, maybe over here there's some uh, plains, but we definitely don't want to uh, mess around too much with that. Give me your boner. Bonk. Boop him right in his bony snoot. Don't mind me, just missing pretty easy shots. <laughs> All in a day's work. <laughs> oh boy, another fucking spawning area. My favorite. Let's just, uh... Take out... one of these uh, Draugr spawners first. If I could... The arrows would actually go where I'm telling them to go. That'd be awesome. Come on. There we go. Took, took me long enough. Oh, look! It's another... It's another wild turnip seed! Now they don't need them, they're just showing up all over the place. Ain't that funny? <laughs> oh, you, you, game, you're so funny. Uh. Oh, there's only one Draugr pile here. Oh, I already have, like, way too many, because my field is, like, I planted 210 turnips. And, uh, with, like, 70 of those, I can, um... 
make 210 more seeds. So that means I get like 140 turnips profit. <laughs> so I, I'm fine. I don't need them, which is why they're spawning everywhere. Oh, whoa! Would you look at that? There's some more! <laughs> Fucking game, I swear. It's like, hmm, I heard you needed some turnips. It's like that slowpoke meme. <laughs> Oh, uh, fuck me. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Rock. Yeah, I think I've about explored most, if not all, of this. Uh... Oh, hello. What are you doing? Being dead, I guess. Must be nice. <laughs> guess I cleared out this spawner. Honestly, I'm surprised we haven't found another tree yet. They, they like to just kind of show up when you don't really want them, but when you do, they they're nowhere to be found. I don't want them anyway. Like, I've got the tree mask and it's as upgraded as I can really get it. So I was trying to prove a point and then game's like, nah. How about no? How about no? <laughs> Ooh, a dungeon I haven't uh, marked on the map. So I think that means like, like eight in this biome. Like the bone mask biome has been pretty uh, fruitful for me. Oh, that's it. Come here. Ooh, a one-star leech. Give me two blood bags. Are you... I was going to leave you all alone, but now it's personal. Come here. Yeah, that's a pretty bad place for a uh, spawner to be. I mean, actually, no, th no they'll, they'll, they'll totally spawn in there inside of the tree. Because the inside of those trees are hollow. But they can shoot out at you, I think. Yep, they totally can. But I have a, I have a fun, I have a funny surprise for him. It's about to get real wet in there. I can have some stamina back at least, that'd be great. Oh, hey, I think he got pushed out by me adjusting the land. Come here, fool. I say as I, I swing and miss immediately. <laughs> See, I was mostly trying to just kind of kill them real quick and then finish exploring the swamp. Because there's probably not much swamp left, it seems like. Oh, wait, no, there was a dungeon I was going to go to. Yeah, it was right here. And then that was just kind of in the way. Because much like everything else, things are just in the fucking way. Oh, look. Nasty. Gross. Yeah, maces are almost essential for coming to the swamp. Reasonably so, at least. If you don't have a mace when you come here, you're probably gonna have a bad time, cause the, drug the druggers aren't weak to crush, but you might as well just use it on them anyway, cause everything oh, there's some other things in here that are like the slot, like the blobs and skeletons and just yeah, you just should just use crush whenever possible. Bonk. Plus the, the the maces have a pretty nice uh, power swing on them. Okay, this is just one of these thingamajigs. Let's get the map a little closer. I don't think there's anything over this way. 
No, it doesn't really look like it, so let's kinda from here somewhere. There's a little there's a little tree house. There's another fire plume over there. Closer where bone mass is was. Well, the spawner rather. Oh, another dungeon. I guess this is one I don't have marked. And I definitely haven't been to it because there's this nasty oozer thing that they sometimes spawn outside of these uh, dungeons. Anyway. What an oozer! Double kill. Alright, let's mark this. Yeah, this is a very productive uh, swamp biome. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crypts. Now, granted, not all these are guaranteed to actually be worth a shit. Sometimes you get very badly generated crypts that have, like, literally no loot in them and sometimes even no enemies. <laughs> like, you just go in there and you're just kind of splashing around for, like, five minutes and you're like, wait, there's just nothing here. <laughs> Yeah, I figure just kind of finish exploring the swamp and then we can uh, make a judgment call on what to do next stream because it might be worth the next stream to just kind of go through all these crypts. Or maybe not. Maybe I can just have them marked for the next time I, I want to go through them, like if I need more iron for something. Because I don't necessarily need any iron right now. Oh, there is a little bit of black forest over here. Hmm. That is not without interest. I could make, technically make like a little base on this little peninsula where black forest is, but eh. I would have kind of preferred there to be a bigger area. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I think the skeletons have uh, 40 HP, give or take. Well, at least the zero star ones. Come here, stinky. Boop. I kind of want to check out this corner down here. Oh, would you look at that? More turnips! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Ah, gross! Well, that was a that was a that was a one star leech. I was wondering, I was like, wait, why isn't this thing dead in like two hits? And probably because it's a a one star. Yeah, it's real dark now and cold, so it'll be in our best interest to beat a retreat. For now, sleep. Beat a retreat and sleep. Pretty easy to do so when you have a no tag portal at home. Uh, I kind of want to finish looking around the swamp and then we'll probably just call it there. Make some more food real quick, though. Okay, and then we'll make some turnip stew, which... These are three turnips a pop, but we've uh, got 210 growing, so I think it'll be okay.
more entrails. We got more fucking bone fragments. More, more roots. And more of this goo, this ooze or whatever that I'm also just don't really have a use for right now. I'm not sure if there's necessarily a very good use for it really anywhere that I can think of. Oh, I also got a little bit of coal. We could probably dump that off. I've been stockpiling some coal for the eventual use of... What is going on over here? Why are there just random skeletons? You know what? You know what? Whatever. <laughs> whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask. I am no longer asking. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Ah, uh, fine, I'll go kill the Skeletons. Wherever they may be, I don't... Where? Where? Where did you go? <sighs> Whatever. What the fuck ever. <sighs> Pain in the ass. <laughs> it's just... It's gonna hit my stuff and then run away. <laughs> And then I can't find it. Uh, I don't fucking need that. I end up not needing that. I don't know why I brought that with me anyway. Let's put these blood bags away, though. I forgot about that. Uh, let's, let's we'll take a pit stop to make some more arrows. Fire arrows are nice to have. We'll fix our stuff at the same time. Right. Extra wood goes away. Um. No, we'll just kind of put this crap away for now. I don't really need it. This is not what I usually have my setup for stuff, is I have like a crush weapon and then a like a, a sword or an, an axe. I like using axes because you can also just cut wood if you need to need wood for whatever thing you're doing. I guess we'll briefly look at the turnips, but I'm not really worried about them until probably next stream. Oh, they're, they're probably all done now, but yeah, whatever. I don't need them right now. I want to finish exploring this swamp. That way I can say, yeah, I explored all the swamp and found all the dungeons and so on and so forth. Yeah, I'm almost 99% sure that the reason that it's doing the little like tab out thing is because um, I like went I like went to desktop. Yeah, there's nothing over there. Maybe there's some stuff down here I missed. Yep. There's definitely some weirdness going on. Like again, I, I, I'm, I'm. Like this isn't a this isn't a bit. It's actually just doing this shit like at the most inopportune fucking time. Ooh, double kill on the leeches though. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, this isn't a bit. It's actually just really fucking annoying. <laughs> like I'm not doing this for funny hahas or just like I don't know suspense question mark. I don't fucking know. I'm just annoyed. That it's happening. I'm just trying to finish exploring this swamp and then we can call it a stream. Don't think there's much more to it. Get these trees filled with like 
phlegm. Ooh, right in the noggin. Boop. Did I not pick up the intros? Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, that's the one I already found over here. keep doing this I mean again I think I know why but it's just very tedious like, I mean it's normally the mouse doesn't leave the game window like unless you explicitly tab out but I did like the the show desktop key and I think that might have uh, messed things up a little I don't think there's any other dungeons in this uh, swamp. Cause I think when I think when it's spawning things like the POIs in here can spawn like these little like cabins that are around here. It can spawn these spawners or it can spawn the uh, the um, the dungeon, the crypts or whatever. And unfortunately, there's quite a few of these damn spawner structures around that could have been just more dungeons and I would probably would have preferred it but honestly we found like nine of those crypts in this one uh, swamp not even that big of a swamp I mean, it's a decent sized swamp but I've definitely gone through bigger swamps that had less dungeons in them so this is a really good spawn oh speaking of fucking spawn it's a, it's like the feels like the tenth tree in this fucking stream. No oh, fuck you tree. I want this Draugr to come over here so I can fight them in first. Hey Tree, where the fuck do you think you're going? Who do you think you are? <laughs> Kinda stuck, aren't you? Why don't you just come on over here like a good tree. Like a proper tree. doing oh you're, you're doing the dumpy slam again admittedly that's probably the one attack you want them to do because you can be like right next to like the the core just chopping away at them when they do that so that's probably the the one attack you wanted to do the most also I think it's like its weakest attack at least it's weakest yeah it feels like it is all right let's just Can you fucking not? Nasty. Nasty. Everything's just so nasty and mean in this in the fucking swamp. Ooh, a one star skill eaten. Alright, let's just get rid of this fucking spawner. I'm, I'm tired of looking at it. I'm tired of thinking about it. I know there's a Draugr around here. I just didn't see where he went. Double parry! <laughs> Get fucked. 
Alright. See, when you're, like, parrying and, like, just smacking the shit out of enemies, it feels really cathartic. And then sometimes the game is just like, no, you get to suffer today. Oh, where'd I get just one scrap iron? That's kind of annoying, actually, because when you have scrap iron, you can't go through a portal until you, like, put it in a box or something somewhere. So it's kind of not ideal that we just have that. Alright, let's just keep on clearing up these 10,000 freaking spawners, it feels like. I don't see a Draugr spawner over here, but I'm almost certain there probably is. So let's just, uh... Game? Uh. Okay, so yeah, there's a, there's, there's a dungeon. Dun John. Don John. Maybe I missed one out here in the center area, because there's just kind of like an empty just area out here. That or it's just because there's like 10,000 of these uh, flame jets in this swamp. Yeah, there's also just an awful lot of these in this swamp too, so this is just a very nicely spawned swamp. Just the critters. Yeah, let's just... We're gonna set up this portal uh, near one of these um, dungeons for now, and we'll call it good. I'd say this uh, swamp is very well explored. We might not end up doing much more in the swamp next stream, but at the very least, I want to just kind of leave <laughs> to end our in the stream. Cause yeah, I've been able to go a little longer because we already had lunch made, but I don't want to push. I still don't want to push my luck too much more than I already have. Oh yeah, I've, of course, fucking the the one piece of iron that I've got from somewhere. Well, eventually I probably will go through this, so let's, uh, put the chest, like, right here, like I usually do, and we'll just, uh, put that there, and now we can leave. And now our bees are very happy. Good for them. Alright, so next stream we'll have like 200 something <laughs> turnips to pick. And yeah, it's just going to be fantastic and wonderful. A wonderful let me sleep just so we can start uh, a uh, fresh day. I guess we'll find out in like 10 seconds or so. Alright, yeah, we'll... I like starting the this new stream on like a fresh game day. It just, just feels it just feels it just feels right. Alright. Alright, this is basically where I kinda end every single stream. <laughs> the same way uh, okay so let's save and then let's do quit all right well that was a fairly productive stream at the very least